Hi everyone and welcome to Nicole Studios. Today's effect is the handwritten text effect two different ways. Starting with the first way, which was the New York City text you saw in the intro, I'm going to procreate to do the first drawing, but you can probably use any other drawing software that is available to you to do this. First, I'm going to change the background color to black so we can key it out later. And then next, I'm going to choose a brush that I want to draw the title with. And you can use any different brush you want to, but I chose a calligraphy brush to give it that calligraphy effect. Now you're going to want to turn on screen recording and this is very important to getting that hand drawn effect which will give you the animation that we're going to use later. So then just make sure you choose a color to draw with and I chose white because that will give me the most flexibility when editing the footage to manipulate it any way I want to. Now write out what you want your effect to say and then stop screen recording. I wrote it in New York City but you can write out whatever you want and you can do this several times to get the perfect take. So now you're going to want to take your screen recording and then bring it into Final Cut Pro. As well as some other footage that you want to go in the background, I got mine from Pexels and you don't even have to put anything in the background if you don't want to, but I'm going to put it on top of a other video. So with both the clips on top of each other, I am going to use the crop tool to crop out the tool board that can be seen at the top of the screen recording to make sure that it's only the black background and the white text that you see. And then I'm going to go to the effects tab and find the keyer and place the keyer effect on top of the writing layer. And now I'm going to use the sample color button on the keyer effect and select the part of background color, which in my case is black, and this will get rid of all the background of that footage and it will keep the text animation. And after that, I'm going to adjust the scale of that writing layer and position it on the screen as to how I want it. And then another thing I'm going to do is go to the color board and change the color to blue by using the color selection tools and you can make whatever color you want. That's why I chose white at the beginning because you can adjust that as much as you would like. And then to make the text pop out a little bit more, I went back to the effects tab and added a focus effect to the background layer. I used an amount of 12, but I would definitely recommend playing around with it and seeing what works for you because you might need more or less focus depending on what clip you're using. So now it's time for the second effect. This is more of an animation text effect, but I thought that they were both really interesting techniques, so I wanted to show them both in the same video. Now I'm going to go back into Procreate and create a new page. In this effect, it does not matter what color your background is, so I'm just going to keep it white as it is. Now, using whatever color and brush you want to, write out what you want the effect to say. So I'm just going to write out Nicole Studios and then add a little squiggly line on the bottom. And then you're going to want to create a new layer and then click on that original layer you had and turn down the opacity to about 50%. So then on your new layer, you're going to use the original layer as a guide to write out that same saying again. But the lettering does not have to be perfect though, because that adds the animated look effect. It just needs to be somewhat close, but not perfect. And then repeat this one more time or as many times as you want to. I only did three letterings because I feel that it didn't need more, but two isn't really enough. So I did three and then that is it. You're going to turn off your background layer and then export each layer as a PNG. So. Now it's time, once you have those PNGs, to bring it back into Final Cut. So bring in your desired background video and then also the pictures that you just made of the writing into your timeline. Now with those pictures on top, shorten them until each of them are about six frames long or somewhere less than a second. You can play around with it and see what works. And then after that, I went on in and adjusted the size and position of the pictures to fit the footage best. And I made it a little bit bigger than it originally was because I thought it was too tiny in the footage. Then I added a color correction that I'd made in the past to make the text pop out more. But I just went to the color tab and played around with the color until I got this kind of minty green color. So after adding that to the pictures, I selected them all and then copied and pasted them multiple times until they filled the entirety of the shot. And then... The last thing I did to the background layer was add the focus effect to give emphasis to the text and not so much to the background, but you can still see the background. So just play around with it, see how much focus or if you don't want to use any focus, then you don't have to. 
So that's the effect. I hope you enjoyed this Final Cut Pro tutorial. If you want to see more videos just like this one, don't forget to subscribe down below. Also, let me know down below in the comments what videos, what effects, what VFX you want to see me do next. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.